Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me. Happy World Wildlife Day. My name is Rachel, and I'm an interpreter here at Royal Botanical Gardens. Now, right now, we have our winter exhibit on, which is all about wildlife rescue. And I'm standing in our Mediterranean garden, which is a pretty great place to be on a winter day. Now, when you think about wildlife rescue, you might not necessarily think of plants, but I'm standing here with a very special plant that has a large role to play in Australia's wildlife populations. This is eucalyptus, and there are over 700 different species of eucalyptus in Australia. Now, these trees and bushes provide habitat and food for a large variety of wildlife in Australia. When you think about eucalyptus, the animal that you think of might be this guy. Koalas are probably some of the best known eucalyptus eaters. They're one of only a handful of species that are adapted to be able to eat eucalyptus leaves, which are poisonous for most other animals. Now, koalas have to eat a lot of leaves in order to have the energy to survive because eucalyptus leaves don't have a lot of calories in them. And even though they eat a lot, koalas are still pretty sleepy. They can sleep for up to 22 hours a day. And even when they're awake, they move pretty slowly. Now this isn't normally an issue for these animals because they don't have a lot of natural predators. But when threats like wildfires come along, it can be a problem as they can't move quickly enough to get away from them. Now wildfires are a natural part of the ecosystems in Australia. Unfortunately, the ones that have been burning since October are hotter and larger than normal. Now this means that a lot of forest ecosystems are being destroyed and a lot of animals can't get away. Now wildlife rescue workers, firefighters, and the public have all been working together to rescue these animals like koalas and bring them to rehabilitation centers to be nursed back to health. But this is just one part of wildlife rescue. The other part is making sure that animals like koalas have habitat to return to once the fires have gone. And this is where places like botanic gardens come in. Now, botanic gardens, along with governmental and non-governmental organizations, have been working together to collect seed and cuttings from plants like eucalyptus so that forests can be replanted once the fires have subsided. Now, if you would like to learn more about wildlife rescue, come check out our exhibit that's on until April 13th. I hope to see you there, and thank you so much for joining me.